and this is another edition of the CFT going into the tail end of round number two. It's Maryland versus Indiana. And let's see what Indiana has if they get the ball first. They go off for the run only for about 24 yards just to put things into context. It's Maryland that is second to last in the rankings going into round number two. Indiana trying to see if they can get their first win off of that devastating loss against LSU. And that was a deflection by Maryland. Let's see if Maryland can make any noise after that devastating loss last game. But, you know, it's a new game, new rules. Let's see what happens here. Well, there was some movement for two yards. It's now third and eight. They're going to have to go for long if they're going to try to make a new set of downs. He's going to go deep, tries to see the open man, gives it to the halfback. Wow, and good the move. the halfback has figured out a way to get 12 yards. Good move to cut it upfield, pick up a good 10, 15 yards. Right now, they get a new set of downs. Looks like they're going to run it for this. Off the option, the quarterback's going to take it, find some space, gets the first down, and that's a plus 15 for Indiana. And they're moving the yards up. They're going to try to go for it. Looks for someone who hits the wide receiver for six yards. We see that Indiana's uh, quarterback has some legs on him, so maybe they may be able to run an option, maybe do a play fake action, you know, mix things up a little bit. Well, that's pretty much the tempo of Indiana. They like to see if they can find ways to exploit the defense, and right now they're going to see if they can try to run it in for some yardage. They need four for the first down. Halfback tries to find some inches and is going to come up short by inches. It's now third in a few. We see here they got a lot of things they can do. They can run, they can pass, to see what they're going to do here. It looks like a run. They're going to go right in the, up the middle, and right there it's going to give them a new set of yards. They go for seven. And right now, Indiana is controlling the tempo, running it up the field. They're going to try to open it up for a passing play, and let's see who's open. Goes to the wide receiver, gets the first down, and now they're at the red zone for the first time of the game. Pretty strong drive for Indiana, working himself down the field, finally in the red zone. Let's see them come up with points. Three for four so far <clears> in the <throat> opening drive. And the quarterback steps back to pass, goes to the slant, touchdown. The touchdown. And Indiana is going to remind you that, hey, they're going to find that open man and exploit it for as many yards as possible. And that was an excellent drive by Indiana. Perfect drive to start the game, come up with six <clears> points. Can't start for the better start. I'm telling you, it's the way you want to get things going, they make the field goal. It's up for another point, and now Maryland's going to get the ball back. What do you think they're going to do in terms of their response? I think Maryland is because it's still early in the game. It's only the first score. I think they're going to try to set their own tempo, play at their own pace, and see if they come away with points as well. Now they're going to run it up, and they're going to get 24 yards. And now we're going to see the Maryland offense try to make a response against Indiana's really successful first set drive. And right now, the halfback's going to go for it. And that's an easy first down. And for a little bit more, and they get 20 yards from the halfback. Pretty strong start for the first drive, <clears throat> getting 20 yards in. Let's see if Mary can make some more boilers. Well, right now, there's two at the backfield by <clears throat> Indiana. They're hoping that they'll see something going deep. And the wide receiver gets it again. A really good short pass, plus an additional few yards for 23. And they're going to hurry it up, see if they can try to get the tempo off, and now another rush, but the cornerback has a response, and that's a loss of two. The defense read that like a book, and the play got blown up with a loss of two. So right now, it's now second and 12. Maryland has the ball, steps back to pass. This time, a three-man rush for a big sack, a loss for 11. Wow, the game, the defense is showing up, and Maryland is moving backwards. It is third and <clears throat> down. And let's see how far deep they're going to throw it if they have any chance of making that first down. Quarterback steps back. Number 16 thinks he has somebody. He sees a ghost because no one was there. And that's all they wrote. Well, good thing for Indiana. Defense stepped up and calls a three now. And now they're getting the ball back. Indiana's going to get the ball back. And they try to capitalize on that missed opportunity by Maryland. Well, right now, no one's going to answer it. They're going to accept the touchback. So they're going to play at the 20. Indiana's first drive start with a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that and put some more points on the board. Well, it was pretty creative. We saw the quarterback finding some distance <clears> for 15 <throat> yards, plus some decent passing plays. 
<coughs> oh, wow. Intercepted. Maybe I spoke too soon when I said decent. That was not a decent throw. And it cost them a turnover. And Maryland has excellent field position to try to make this a 7-7. Looking Drop at back the pass. Bam! Gets the first down. And now they're going to get a new set right at the red zone. Indiana is hitting itself by giving Maryland such great field position in that turnover. Sees the halfback but couldn't hold it. So it's an incomplete pass. Yeah, touched on right on buttons, but he couldn't hold on to it. And the quarterback was like, if you need <clears> something <throat> done, you got to do it yourself. Well, he didn't get much done. That was nothing. Third and goal. Quarterback steps back. Sees touchdown. the wide receiver, and that's a touchdown for seven yards. Well, Maryland strike blocked in, and now the game is tied after this point after attempt. Well, look, you know, Indiana has to be mindful of trying to thread the needle with these passes. It gave Maryland a very great field position start and they just took it for the board for six. And there we go. The game is tied. The way this is going, this might turn into a shootout. Well, let's see if Indiana can respond again. Well, Indiana's going to get the ball back. Starts at the three. It's going to keep going. Maybe gets another set of yardage for 26. And they're going to start at the 26-yard line. Actually, the 29-yard line. Quarterback is going to get it to the halfback number 12, but couldn't make much movement. Nothing gained. Hey, at least he got stopped at the line of scrimmage and lose no yards. Well, let's see if they can recover from this. This is their second in the second drive for Indiana. Going to give it to the halfback, but look at that space. Was able to make that up. Nearly makes the first down, and that's the end of the first quarter. Seven all as we move into the second quarter. It's third initials, and they need just a few steps from the line, and that's going to be enough for a first. That was pretty innovative, running the option. Thought I was going to fake it off to the halfback, to the quarterback snuck it in for the first. Well, I think the quarterback got the legs to try to make some movement, especially when there's a few yards needed, in this case a few inches. Quarterback steps back, 12 passes to the wide receiver, and that's going to be a set of new downs for 16 yards. Nice little play action to fake out the defender, and now the chains are moving. If you notice, Indiana loves to play fast, like to get the change moving. It's now six first downs for Indiana. He scans, looks for the wide receiver, another first down, this time for 13 yards. <clears throat> nice little truck to get up a few extra yards, but first down nonetheless. And the quarterback surprises everyone again as he goes literally walking up the middle for 14 yards. Like everyone was like, you know what, let me just step to the side and give the quarterback his due. And he does it again. This time for about three yards. I have to admit, that faked me out because I wasn't expecting that to come. I thought it was going to be a handoff. Well, he's not going to do it for a third time. That will just be too silly. He's just going to try to give it to the tight end. And right there, it's going to give him the first down. Sneaks it in. It should be a... Oh, he didn't get in. Well, six yards is better than none. That's going to give them a couple of yards to go. Oh. But the <laughs> fullback said no to that. Quarterback tries to give it to the halfback, and boom, there it is. We got a touchdown for Indiana. Indiana's back on top. Pretty good drive again, working their way down the field, and now the game is going to be a seven-point lead. And right now, with that field goal, it gives them a one possession of a lead. It's 14-7 Indiana. Maryland's going to get the ball back with 2.24 remaining in the first half. Wide receiver starts from the beginning. And is walking straight up the middle, 429 yards. Going to start near the 30-yard line. Well, Maryland scored on the last possession. Let's see if they can duplicate that once again. Nice little warped up the middle and right in the midfield already. 82 just saw that opening pathway and went the distance. Great set of yardage for 27 yards to be exact. First and 10, number 16. Quarterback passes it over again to the wide receiver. This time for 15 yards. Right at the numbers for another first down. The chains keep moving. And it looks like it's a seesaw battle. Indiana's defense has to wake up. Otherwise, Maryland's going to continue to keep the game way too close for their comfort. Another hurry up offense trying to get the defense tired. Let's see what happens here. And the halfback's going to take it. Gets the first down. And another set of downs for Maryland. Maryland keeping their timeouts at three. Halfback goes up the middle this time for seven yards. And finally, Maryland's going to take their first time out of the half. 
right back in the red zone. Let's see if they can get some points before the half. And we noticed from that play, it's something worth watching again on instant replay. But, hey, we don't have enough time for that. We're just going to go to third and one. Quarterback sneaks it in two. Well, actually, the halfback is going to try to sneak it in for one yard. That's all they needed for the first. And if you notice, in this drive, it's been a real rush-driven type of uh, offensive play by Maryland. Speaking of another rush, quarterback tries to do it, but they're going to lose a yard. I don't know what the quarterback was thinking. It was nothing open over there. He tried it and failed. About 60 seconds remaining. The quarterback's going to hold on to it and gets the touchdown for 12 yards. And the game is once again tied. This might turn into a shootout. No defense has given up anything much, but these offenses are on fire. Indiana's like, my quarterback can go for some yards. Maryland has a quarterback can go for some yards. Indiana loves to run the ball. Maryland can do the same thing. It looks like it's like a Simon Says type contest. Uh, not much going there. That could should have been, been a touchback. Well, here we are. They're at the 20 where they could have added if they just went for the touchback. Indiana's going to try to see what they can do with just 55 seconds remaining in the first half. Goes uh. really deep. And I don't know what type of gunslinging move that was, but that was dangerous. That could have been an interception, but luckily it was not. Oh, right up the middle. And the tight end's like, you know what? Let me recover from that previous bad catch. 39 big yards by the big boy, and we got another set of downs. Indiana takes the first time out for them, and now the quarterback's going to step back, way back. Why don't Look open. at that. Number 13 said, nope, nobody can touch me, and that was a big catch. Right now, the quarterback is going to try to do it again, but can't do it because number 10 had a response for them. It was called the floor, a loss to nine. Second and 19. Let's see if they can get in the post. 33 seconds left. Quarterback is going to step. Gives it to number 13. Gets the first down with the touchdown. It's 20 for Indiana. Indiana back on top again. Seesaw battle. No one is getting any type of momentum. And like I said, this could turn into a shootout. Between Indiana and Maryland, it's 34 combined points in just two quarters of gameplay. Indiana get ready for the point after to see if they can take another lead in this game. I don't know if it's just the really aggressive strength of both Maryland and Indiana's offense or the piss-poor defensive gameplay on either side. Like, I don't know what to say. All I can say, I'm enjoying this game so far. Not a dull moment, not much defense, but a firepower offense on both sides. Well, let's see what Maryland can do with just 25 seconds remaining. Tries to juke its way around, only gets 23 yards. Okay, should have just been a touchback. Here they go. Can they capitalize with 24 seconds and maybe make it a tie before the half? Quarterback is just going to try to hold on to it, but they're going to lose three yards as a result of it. Time is going. They do have one more timeout, but up. we're going to halftime. And with that, Indiana is going in with the lead at the end of the half. It's 21-14 Indiana of round two of the CFT. And now we go into the second half. I am again Brownsville Gamer along with that other guy doing commentary of the CFT. Indiana versus Maryland. And Indiana is going to try to give it back to Maryland and see what they can do in the second half. We're right back in it. It's only a one possession lead. Anything can happen here. Let's see what happens here in the second half. Half back only gets about three yards. It's now second and seven. Quarterback steps back. Tries to give it to the wide receiver. Number one does get it and gets the first down. Second, first and ten. Let's see if they can keep the chains moving. And they're going to get the reception, but it was only for four. Second and six. Two men in the back. Scanning, number 16. Doesn't know where to throw it. Hits it to the helmet of the cornerback, number 22. Trying to do a billet pass, but the receiver wasn't paying attention, and it cost him a down. Look, the quarterback's not throwing as much as we would like. But when he does, he's usually getting a, a connection. He's 7 and 10. Make that 8 and 11, this time for 21 yards. They keep the chains moving. They're well past midfield, right in Indiana's territory. Here we go. Cornerback is trying to get his sixth tackle of the game. 
And the cornerback is going to throw it over to the wide receiver number one. Wide receiver is going to give about maybe four or five yards. I actually add four more to that for nine. It's now second and one. Four and about four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Quarterback is going to try to just get the extra yard it needed plus seven more for a brand new set of downs. And they're pretty close to the red zone right now. They are trying to force a tie, make it 21 in all. And where does it go? Hits the wide receiver for 22 big yards. Right at the hash marks, right in there. It's first and goal. Can they punch it in the tie the game once again? This quarterback is able to really make some damage in the red zone. For two attempts, they managed to get in for some points. And that's not going to work this time around. It's a loss to two by Indiana. Defense saw it coming and blew that play up. But the halfback is going to try to make some moves. He's about 100 yards in for the game. And no, it's going to go to the quarterback. And the quarterback, again, second touchdown produced by number 16. Yeah, these defenses are not really showing up. It's a back and forth. It's a what can I do? Can I do it better? And right now, Maryland's about to tie the game back up again. And it's like the momentum just keeps swifting every possession. Well, look, it only took 10 plays in that drive to force it to 21-21. The wide receiver is going to try to take it with the punt, uh, the kick return for 18 yards. And now they're going to try to see what they can do at the 20. In the end, with an opportunity to do the option, holds on to it, tries to see if there's someone deep, gets it to the wide receiver number three, four first down. I Let, thought he dropped oh, it. I'm sorry, it's it. a drop. So oh, now wow. it goes back to second and 10. I, I thought, thought that was a catch. It was a clean one to me. I don't know how he couldn't hold on to the ball. It's going to stay on the ground. Halfback tries to get for five yards. It's now third and five. What do you think Indiana should do in the second half to not only take the lead but maintain it? Look, we noticed in the first half that the air game did what it needed to do, but it's the running play, especially by the quarterback, like what we see right here, that's going to give them that extra oomph to get the scores that they need to win. And right now they have 12 first downs, and they're going to try to throw it out there to see. Three wide receivers going to the slant, going to give it to number one, and the wide receiver gets the first down. They just gave him enough for the first down. Look, they're going to mix it up, but the halfback can make some damage. Going to do so by only getting three in that play. It's now second and seven with about two minutes to go. 21 to 21 in this game. Quarterback's going to hold on to it and uh, nearly gets the first down. It's now third and one. In just rush yards alone, it's 77. They're five for five in third downs. And make that not a six. Now, it's going to be fourth and inches. Oh, but wow, Indiana... They're like, look, we didn't work this hard to get stopped now. And the halfback did what it needed to do. It got the yard Just in. enough. Just enough to get the first down. Keeping the drive alive with about a minute to go in the end of the third. Quarterback is going to try to step out. Oh, see wow. What they can do. Bam, wide receiver had it. But no, deflected. I'm surprised it was a man open down the field. Surprised he didn't take a shot in the end zone. I know they like to play it close, but the quarterback saw that gap. And now again, for another first time, uh, first down, 22 yards, earned by number five. We got a little RG3 in him, running it up the gut. The sand. Can they strike lightning twice? No, they're going to go in the air, gives it to number one, and that's going to be about what? Oh, 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 no! He dropped it and fumbled it, and Manley gets the ball back, and maybe Wait a middle. minute. I, if I was Indiana, I would throw a flag ah, right there now, and that's exactly what's going to happen because I believe a knee was down. That That's a knee. Yeah, from that angle, right yeah, his knee was down before the ball came out. Indiana should be able to keep that possession. Look at it. If you look at it in slow-mo in that angle, you can see that left knee hitting the grass. And yes. Indiana gets that call, and they peak possession, and now they're in the red zone. And they can breathe a little loosely. The quarterback steps back in this pass play, and now we can all agree that was a deflection. Can we agree? Yes. All yes. right. That's, that's all that matters. Third and two. Need a couple of yards to keep the drive going, and it's going to go to the halfback. Gets about maybe three. Yes, yeah. indeed. Enough for the first, and now it's first and ten. Deep in the red zone. Look, we might as well just give them the seven points for all the work they've done in this drive. If they don't go home with six or seven, was it worth it? 
And that's the end of the third quarter going into the final quarter. Can somebody pull away and take control of this game? Look, it could be Indiana, and it could be done right here on this play. They're near the red zone right now. And the quarterback's going to step back. No one home. Oh, oh, I was wrong. Number three answered the door. And now that's going to break the tie. Indiana finally holding on again with the lead. Quarterback threaded the needle and got it right where it needed to be. And it's a touchdown. I don't know. A game like that, it just keeps me a little unnerved to see those <laughs> type of passes go through like that. But, hey, only the best can do it. Oh, the best. What are you saying? You think that this is going to be like the quarterback that's going to take the team all the way? Hey, don't put nothing past me. But I think we might be able to see something special today. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a very daring statement in the second round of the tournament. Hey, we're seeing it here. Indiana is just, you know, they haven't been stopped yet. Well, look, LSU, that was the game where if they could have beaten LSU, that could be the tournament right there. But uh, now, instead, they're going up against a pretty interesting Maryland. And they got another, uh, well, in this case, Maryland got the first down there. 16 is going to hold on to it. And that's going to be a tackle, only a gain of four. Halfback gets the ball this time. And yeah. his linebacker was not able to grab him in time. And that goes into a third and one. Number 16 fakes it, holds on to it, keeps it, and gets a new set of downs. Maryland once again moving the chains, doing what they got to do. Can they keep the momentum going? Now, where they are now with a new set of downs, look like they're going to keep it on the ground. Man in motion. And nope. It looks like he's going to hold on to it again for another run. Gets the first down. 47. Oh, rolls out. Was able to strip it out of his hands. And the cornerback, number 28, is going to recover it for Indiana. Wow, what a hit by the defender. Knocked the ball right out of his hands. That is a very devastating play for Indiana. I mean, at this point of the game, if Indiana can hold on, maybe get another touchdown, it'll be a two-possession game with not a lot of time left. This is what I was talking about. This is probably finally the momentum shift that Indiana needed to take control of this game. Well, can they capitalize? 340 remaining in the match, and it looks like the quarterback is going to try to give it to number 12. Let's see what happens here. They're going to try to burn as much of unnecessary time off the clock. Two seconds. Oh, there we go. Number 12 holds on to it. Gets the first down, and that's a new set of downs, but more importantly, the clock is going to keep on moving. Yeah, and again, it's probably just chewing the clock out, running the ball as much as they can. This might be the final possession of the game. Look, they want this win. If they manage to pull it off, they'll be 2-1. Uh, sorry, they'll be 1-1 one one going into round number three, and with the points that they've been building, they can be a top four team. Oh, absolutely. The way they've been playing this game... They might be a threat in the playoffs. And I'm going to make this very clear here. If Maryland loses, I think they might be the worst team of the tournament between Maryland and Fresno State. No, I don't think anybody's going to top Fresno State. Oh, jeez. You're just calling it for what it is. They might be the worst team in the tournament? No, they are the worst team in the tournament. Jeez. Well, <laughs> let's see what happens here with 213 remaining. Cornerback is going to try to hold on to the ball as much as possible before he tries to give it to number 12 again. This is smart. Killing the clock. This could be the final possession of the game. It's pretty much going to be that case. Because now 12 is going to hold on to it. Tries to find more movement. And will for 7 yards. And finally, Maryland is going to stop the clock. Yeah, they had no choice. They got to start burning timeouts to stop the clock. If they ever want to see the ball again. Look, all they need is a turnover. We've been seeing it time and time again in this game. And the quarterback. It's like the quarterbacks. They just want the ball. Right, they're gonna give it out if they need. Oh to, no! But they want the ball. But the halfback number twelve is gonna want that ball as well. They're gonna want that game ball because they're gonna get another first down. Maryland burnt all their timeouts, so they gotta get a stop or this game is over. Well, and number twelve is not gonna allow that because again, another successful rush for nine yards. They are basically second and one at the one to possibly put this game out of reach. Burn the Indiana, clock burn the clock. And it's over. And the quarterback says, you know what? We're going to end it here my way. He's going to bring it home for that big dagger of the heart of Maryland. 
And now they're up by two possessions. And that's pretty much going to put the game out of reach for Maryland unless they score quickly and get an onside kick. No, that's not going to happen. Honestly, Maryland, the fact that they didn't even do an onside kick with about 60 seconds left in the game, that's that white flag being waved right there. They're going to give it up. Well, let's see what happens. It's about minute two left. If they get one or two big plays, they might have some time left. Well, they got to step up the tempo and step it up quick because they need to get the ball back if they're able to try to make something happen for a tie. And that's going to be a stop right there. The clock is still running, but at this point, <laughs> Maryland had to spike it. Passes it to the halfback. Halfback is going to try to move out to stop the clock. Just smart. Get the first down. Stops the clock. Keeps the chains moving. 44 seconds left. They got to throw it out there. If they're going to run the ball more and more, I can't see how they're going to try to make anything of a difference. Gives uh, it. Tries to pass it to number four, but it was deflected by the cornerback. At least that stops the clock. 40 seconds remaining. Second and 10. Gives it to the wide receiver, number 82. Gets the first down. But again, with no timeouts, they got to hurry it up and stop the clock. Quarterback steps back, gives it to number 81, but couldn't hold on to it. That's going to allow the clock to continue the move. With 30 seconds left, gives it to number one, but number one couldn't hold on to it. 28 seconds remaining. It's third and 10. Two down territory here. They got to do something here. They have to go for them fourth down. Here he goes. Scans it. Sees at least number six. First down. And that's a first down. But look, all these short little passes are good. Maybe they'll move the chains. But there's only 24 seconds left. Anything can happen. Gets it to number six. And number six tries to find some movement. Stops there for 17. 20 seconds left. Here comes the rush. The hurry up, that is. And 16 is going to try to spike it, try to figure out how to set something up. Normally, if a game was this close, a field goal can be the difference, but not in a two-possession game with just 15 seconds remaining in the match. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking good for Maryland, but they got the touchdown. Get the touchdown. And with 17, excuse me, 11 seconds left, if they can try to get the ball back, who's to say that they can't do that big deep throw for all the marbles. Onside kick, games on the line. Can they get it? And they're not going and to. And no, because number 15 is going to hold on to it. And there he is. He's going to stop right there. Final play in the game. Is he going to spike it? No, he's going to kneel it. And there we go. Indiana will win the match against Maryland at 35 to 28. Once again, Indiana, dark horse to make it all the way. Look. If it's going to be the case, it's going to be because of the quarterback, number five. I mean, he can run it. He can throw it when he needs to. I mean, he's a little bit of a gunslinger in some of those plays. But, I mean, great production. Like I said, if teams don't know how to stop this quarterback, in the end, it's going to be very dangerous going forward. Well, that's it. It looks like we're going to be moving into round number three. Indiana is going to move with a 1-1 record going into round three. And Maryland is going to have to work their way from the bottom as they are now 0-2 going into the third round of our tournament. Tune in on Brownsville Gaming for more action of the NCAA 14 CFT. This is uh, Brownsville Gamer along with that other guy wishing you a great night. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.